Today we start our, our whole new chapter on personal finance. One of the first things we want to talk about under personal finance is this whole concept of budgeting. Typically when people think of budgeting, they immediately think of finance. They think of money. They think of the husband wants want the wife to spend money, the wife wants to spend money, the husband doesn't know where to spend. But budgeting is more than just money. And I want to set a little example today for some individual work that perhaps we can post your thoughts on discussion board and then others can evaluate what the thoughts may be and we can kind of go from there. So let me set a, a scenario for you. There's been a natural disaster. Don't know what it is, but you are now limited to one gallon of water a day. That's 128 ounces of water that you get to expend in a 24-hour time. Now the problem becomes, oh, you cannot refill this. That once it's gone, it's gone. You have no more coming back. So it's difficult for me to relate to a gallon of water on a 24-hour prime frame. So what I'd like to do is to put it into something we can all become somewhat familiar with, which is a standard 12-ounce can. Now, Bubba, you, you, you are not going to be able to put any of the uh, Budweiser light in this thing or anything along that. It's water. So if we think of this, we think we have a half a can of water that we can use every hour. And let me ask you the question, what happens if I drink more than my half can of water every hour? What happens to the amount of water that I have in my one gallon jug? So think about what happens if you do that. So now, the opposite side is what happens if you don't drink at all? What happens if you don't drink one of these cans be every two hours or every three hours? What happens to the amount of water in our jug? So what I'm trying to do is to get you to think through the, the scenario. You've got a gallon of water that has to last you 25, 24 hours. How will you allocate that 128 ounces of water into a 24-hour time period? I'll give you one hint, and that is the fact that you'll be sleeping for eight hours a day. So knowing that you're asleep for eight hours reduces your time of consumption to 16 hours. So you have 128 ounces of water, and you have 16 ounces to consume. How would you consume? Your responses, your thoughts, your comments, out on Blackboard. 